1850, the neighborhood of Washington Square is at the height of luxury in New York City, and over a century later, the lives of its wealthy residents are portrayed by Jennifer Jason Lee and Albert Finney in the movie Washington Square. And also during that time, just a few blocks south, an upstate institution entrusted to safely transport money and gold is setting down roots in Tribeca. New York's Tribeca Film Festival has become an international film hub for celebrities and talented filmmakers from around the world. The American Express Company has been a Tribeca institution for a century and a half and is the founding sponsor of the Tribeca Film Festival. The neighborhood of Tribeca is synonymous with the Tribeca Film Festival. And the Amex headquarters is located just a few blocks away from many famous movie sites. Films like Inside Man with Denzel Washington, or Hitch with Will Smith, and Who Could Forget Wall Street with Michael Douglas. All of these movies were shot nearby. American Express has been located here in Lower Manhattan since 1850. We've had our business here, we've had our employees here, and we also do a lot of our philanthropy here. Great many important companies and commercial enterprises of one sort or another were located in Tribeca. In the mid-19th century, the nation as a whole began expanding westwards. This was the beginning of the era of express delivery services and the timely formation of the American Express Company. The American Express Company got its name for making fast deliveries all across the country. These expressmen were in charge of guarding cash, gold, and other valuables during transit. American Express delivered small parcels, delivered freight, they delivered a variety of goods. In 1858, American Express opened its first headquarters building here in New York. It was the city's largest privately owned building right here in Tribeca. Located on the corner of Hudson and J Streets, the company's new headquarters was in close proximity to the Hudson River Railroad. And the rail line, which was on Hudson Street at that point, had a spur that went into the building. Horses and wagons would go in there too. Goods could be transferred directly from these rail cars onto horses and wagons, which would then come roaring out and gallop across town. There are a few remnants here of the American Express Company's early days in Tribeca, and not far away, just a few blocks north, is my seat. This building on the corner of Collister and Hubert Streets was the site of the American Express Company's stables. The stables kept the horses that carried precious cargo all across the country. The American Express Company was very, very proud of its delivery horses. They were very, very well taken care of. Amex's first mascot was not the figure of the Centurion, but the face of a guard dog. Long before the Centurion became the face of the American Express card, the guard dog was a famous symbol of the company. This symbol appeared on the company's letterhead in buildings and was an early embodiment of the company's role as a reliable and safe delivery service. American Express Watchdog uh, didn't just appear in one shape and form. They were different types of dogs, in fact. Depending upon the context in which the dog appeared, it would be different. Here's the unknown. In 1905, American Express became the official currency exchange provider for the U.S. government. The company even had a teller window on Ellis Island to greet new Americans who wanted to exchange their foreign currency. The newly built Ellis Island in 1892 was not just a center of processing the immigrants, it also offered services. When immigrants, many of whom were carrying their life savings with them, would come to the teller windows, they would be assured of an honest currency exchange. The first American Express card appeared in 1958 and was made of paper. A year later, the company was the first in the world to use plastic. And today, some of Amex's most exclusive members use credit cards made of titanium. The company's evolution from a small business to a large company mirrors the rise of the Tribeca Film Festival. 
It's been so successful that it's really expanded beyond Tribeca and it's become one of the world's most prominent film festivals. I do think the Tribeca Festival has had a positive impact on filmmaking. It's really now regarded as kind of one of the premier festivals. The festival began as a local event but is now an international powerhouse in the movie making industry. 